100.9 The Creek. Love that song. Parker Millsaps, the Sarah Jo Roses. That was the glory of love. It's a cover, but still, I absolutely love the song. And we decided to play it. Um, it is Monday, and he is sitting here. So now um, uh, he, he's brought a, a, a player in, Zach Urban. Zach, put your headphones on real quick. Have you, um, Zach, is this your first time here? Yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure that you hear this. Um, Alex, you know, I've never met a man that demands his own intro, right. but he does. Okay. Um, so you get to hear every this for week. the first time. Um, every week, um, we do this for Alex. From Alex Von Coyne The Voice. From Alex Von Coyne The Voice. Voice. From Alex Von Coyne The Voice. 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 Alex Von Coyne. Made that himself, Zach. I'm so proud of him because he did it himself. And I just like, because I get to say Von Coitles is, is uh-huh. Alex Von Coitle, the voice of the Making Mayhem. What's going on, buddy? I'm good. How are you? You know what? I cannot complain. Uh-huh. Let's, um, let's talk about this, week, this past weekend's games um, that we had here. Talk about how, how we played, the, the things that you saw from our, our matchup against Fayetteville. Yeah, well, Fayetteville is definitely a tough opponent. They're one of the top teams in our league. Yeah. And we were really uh, eager to, because of the series we had just had against Pensacola, we were really eager to prove that, you know, we're... Uh, able to take down those top teams in yeah. this league uh, this season. We struggled against them. We've been close in every game uh, up until Saturday night. Saturday just wasn't our night. It, it felt like, but uh, you know, we got we had gotten points in three consecutive games, and um, Saturday it just didn't go our way. So yeah. we're turning the page. That's the first half of the season's in the books now, and we're looking ahead to our uh, our five game road stretch here coming up. Yeah, it is a y'all are, y'all about going a lengthy lengthy road trip. Um. What games do you have this? We don't have. There's no home games until what the thirtieth. Uh, that's correct. Of January, 30, yeah, thirtieth, thirty first, and then February first are okay. our next home games. Um, so I'm um, talking about the road games y'all got coming up. Yeah, so know. we're actually in Fayetteville on Friday. Okay. So um, good opportunity to you know redeem ourselves, and we actually haven't been in that barn this season at all. It's okay. been they've had four games here, but we haven't been there. Okay. So good right. opportunity to bounce back after what happened this past weekend and. Um, and then Saturday, Sunday, I believe we're in Roanoke, so okay. it'll be a tough little three-game weekend here we've okay. got coming up. But this is this is the time of year where, like, we would, we would talk with all the players that have been on, and we'll definitely get Zach's input on this as well. It just seems like this is the time where the team is gelling a lot more than it did in the first half of the season, and now this will be the perfect time to kind of get on that run and, For sure. and fight towards the playoffs. Yeah, and you know what's tough is that we haven't had that many opportunities on the road, and yeah. usually, like, early season, it's good to have a lot of road trips because that – it gives the team the opportunity to gel and mm-hmm. bond and yeah, have those experiences on the road. You can like so you can gel with your boys when you're at the house, but it's something about being on the road outside of your own exactly. home place, home barn, and really find out who your who your teammates are for real mm-hmm. on those things. So it's always a good thing. We do have Mr. Zach Urban in the studio with us. Zach's the first time here, so welcome. Thank you. Um, this is not a safe space. So I just want to let you know that things right. can get very very weird in here. Um, Zach, where are you from? I'm from uh, Kelowna, British Columbia, out on the West Coast. Okay. All right, West Coast, Columbia. Okay. Um, let's see here. When did you start skating? When did you start playing hockey? Uh, when I was six years old, I started playing ice hockey. Okay. So not the normal three years old that we normally get. That yeah, is very uh, good. You were doing other things with your life, had other aspirations and things. <laughs> yeah, I can't really remember, but it wasn't <laughs> hockey. <laughs> we had, getting in a little trouble. <laughs> yeah. We had uh, Pirog last week. He was a late bloomer, too. He yeah. started at six. He started at six. So um, <laughs> kind of talk about your, your growth as far as um, how where you what what got you into hockey and kind of your, your career as you got up to this point. Uh, where I'm originally from is just outside of Calgary, Alberta, Cochrane, a small town. So hockey's really popular there. It was just kind of something that every kid tried out when they were young, and they either liked it or they didn't. And uh, I fell in love with the game when I was young and moved out to BC to pursue my hockey dreams and go to a hockey academy there. Okay. So that's why I'm out there now, and uh, I've kind of just been on that road ever since. Okay. Uh, what position do you play? Uh, defense. Okay. I love good defensemen there. <laughs> um, talk about... Talk about how this team, we, we've asked all, all the players, you know, the, the transition from Coach Leo Thomas to Ryan Michael um, in the middle of the season. Kind of talk about where you feel like you guys are right now as you get ready to head in towards the second half of your season. Uh, I think we're in an all right spot right now. You yeah. know, obviously we've had struggles earlier in the year, and that's kind of new for here since the first year. And uh, so guys are just kind of learning how to play in the big games right now, I think. And uh I think this is going to be a good turning point for our year in the second half. Last year, our second half didn't finish very well. So okay. I think that, you know, we had a rough start so far, but I think that we're going in the right direction and guys are starting to play better every night. And it's just about putting in like that full 60 minutes and getting used to winning hockey games. Okay. Yeah, and last year, we sort of started really hot and didn't yeah, finish the way we wanted yeah. to. So maybe this year we flip it around. Flip it around. And, but it's always yeah. good to have that momentum going into, mm-hmm. into the playoffs towards the end of the season because that – if you can keep that going, that can drive you right into a championship. So that is absolutely beautiful. A um, couple of just random questions I got for you, Zach. Favorite hockey movie? 
A uh, miracle. Okay. <laughs> Tony, Tony would approve of that. Um, yeah. You are rocking a clean Sacramento Kings hat right now. Yes, I just um, got it not too long that ago. That is the, that's not the normal colors <laughs> that I would normally see with that, which I like it. Um, do you like the Sacramento Kings? Uh, I'm not a fan of the Sacramento Kings. I do like the <laughs> NBA, like watching NBA. Okay, like favorite NBA team then? Uh, the Raptors, Toronto. Wow, I feel Canada's like, team, I guess. Yep, right? yep. So say. you're a Drake fan, also then, huh? <laughs> yeah, I'd say I could be a Drake fan. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, when he's the y'all have a mascot, but let's just be real: the biggest public face of the t- yeah, Toronto Raptors is, sure. is 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 Drake. Okay, there's that. Um, how long have you been in making, boss? Uh, this is my third season, third season, so I've been here for a little bit. All right, is it? Uh, was it a, a huge learning curve? I mean, it's British Columbia versus making Georgia, so I would figure <laughs> uh, might have been a curve. But how you like? I like it down here. Like I've never really had anything to complain about. Um, came down here three years ago because of John Seymour, who used to play on the team. We yep. went to college together, so he kind of brought me down here, and I, I got to know all the guys and like the city of Meek, and, yeah. and I fell in love with it. So good, good. Well, we're we're happy to have you. Lucky to have you um, as part of this team. Now, Alex, we want to talk about something very important. Um, there's a huge deal happening coming up. Uh, it's the very yes, next. It's the thirtieth, right? It's the next home game we've got. Pack the uh, plex. So that's the Saturday. Saturday, that's February first. February first. Yeah, okay. Thurs- that, no, you're good. That Thursday is going to be college night. Okay. And, uh, our, our thirsty Thursday. Which Thursday. We, we Thursday. haven't gotten all the details kinked out yet, but <laughs> um, now we're we're hoping to definitely incentivize some some college kids to come out that night. Mercy, they're talking <laughs> to you. Want to see you out there? Now let's talk about this pack the plex night. Yes. I'm um, happening on the first. Talk about what's going on that night. So we're gonna have six dollar tickets for Saturday, February the first, against Knoxville. Um, we're really just trying to get as many butts in the seats as we possibly can. We want to have, you know, uh, you know, obviously as many nights as we can like that, but yeah. we're really focusing our energy on that on night. That we're night. just trying to get, you know, that place as packed as we possibly can because we, uh, every player on the team will tell you they, they love say. playing here because of how loud it gets in that building and I, it doesn't take too many fans for it. For to, it to get to that to point. Really excited, yeah, I was so. going to ask you that because I, I know you were talking about last time and Zach, you might be able to add on this too. The, I think you said it was the Friday not this past weekend, weekend before that, the Friday game was probably the loudest you had heard it in there. I know yes. it's got to make a huge difference to you guys on the ice to feel that. What is that, when the crowd is rocking like that, what is that, <clears throat> it sounds so cliche, but what does that do for you all when you're on the ice? Yeah, it just gives you that extra burst of energy. It's crazy in the centerplex sometimes how there can be not as many fans as it looks in other rinks when you're on the road, but how loud it is. It gets really loud in there, and our fans are passionate, and they, they love the game, and uh, they love the intensity and they yeah, kind of yeah. bring that intensity up in the building and everyone just kind of feels it and I think that's why like you see some of the games that we have at home where we just go through these even five six minute spans of just high energy yeah and that kind of yeah. thing and so, yeah and Zach got the game winning goal that night see that's what I'm saying three goals in five minutes that's what I'm saying that, that, that kind of stuff and, and that's the kind of atmosphere that you want to cultivate in that building and we might as well do it on the first pack the plex night six dollar tickets um, just get those at makeitmayhem.com uh, yeah, or, okay. um, yeah. You can uh, use that link to Ticketmaster on our website, okay. and the six dollar general admission tickets are up on Ticketmaster right now. All right. All uh, right. If you want to avoid the fees, then you can just get them at the box. Office. Get them at the box office, but literally pack the plex. There should be nobody. There should not be an empty seat in that building that night because this team is legit, and we want to make sure we show them all the love and support that we can. Thank you, Zach, for coming on. I'm gonna make sure we get you a T-shirt and some older band because I know. Those hockey uh, dress rooms can get a little funky sometimes. <laughs> yeah. um, and when you're going on the road, <laughs> you might want to take some things with you because there's certain things you can't do on the bus while you're around all your homies. That's We'll take care of that. Um, Alex Von Corla, as always. Absolutely. Time By the way, you. if I could just give one quick shout you out. Sorry, it, Charles. Um, one of our, our season ticket holders, Kathy Fowler, I'm sure uh, you know a lot of our, our fans who are tuned in right now, um, I've heard of her and know her and know what happened on uh, Friday night, but she was struck by a flying puck in the second period. Mm. She is okay. Okay, she, good to know. Yeah, she had a CT scan okay. uh, of her head. She has a, a cheek contusion, okay. uh, I think some broken bones in the orbital so. region, yeah. and yeah. had seven stitches or six stitches. And um, But she has uh, pledged her support to the mayhem. Okay. She's going right. to keep coming back to get – she went to Saturday's game, and she's – Trooper. She has yeah. shown the spirit of a hockey player, Trooper. as I've said. So. No, that is absolutely um, amazing. You know, um, yeah, shout-out to, to Kathy Fowler and her and her husband and, um, you know, just for being outstanding supporters of yeah. our team. Well, that's absolutely beautiful. So, um, like I said, and then just public service announcement. People keep your – I don't know what the situation was, was with that. <laughs> but just as a public service announcement, yep. keep your eyes – on the ice mm-hmm. when you're there because pucks fly. <laughs> they hit those pucks hard as hell. 
they can fly and ricochet off things. So please, just be careful. Um, but I'm glad to hear she's not hurt. Um, thanks you guys for coming in. Yes, Zach, he makes us play it twice. I didn't know if you know that. <laughs> we had to play it coming in and going out. So <laughs> Alex Von Coyle, there's voice. this. I mean, from it's Alex Von Coyle, like it's voice. very Alex Von Coyle, like he demanded voice. that we do this. It wasn't like we said, "Oh, we'll play it twice." No, ask for it. Coming now, we got some Swamp Dog in the music. I'm sleeping off you. Is a drag. We'll be back.